Okay, welcome to my uh, quick video on uh, what to look out for when buying quality bib shorts. So let's start with um, one of the uh, one of my preferred bib shorts. It's not my most preferred bib shorts, but this is one of my more preferred ones. This bib short uh, is from Rafa. I don't know if you can see the the logo here. Yeah, the logo. Uh, why I like this bib shorts is because main thing is that it's long enough um, it I like my bib shorts to stretch all the way till almost touching my knee and that's the way the you know the pro riders uh, wear their bib shorts and I, I I like that style and so these actually are nice and long uh, if you can see the uh, the 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 cuff at the end of the legs they are nice and broad and they have silicone uh, on the inside so they hold very well and they're nice and long this uh, in small this is Rafa core series the Lycra is also a, a, a nice thicker gauge uh, gives good compression and yet it's quite stretchable what I don't uh, and the um, the padding is uh, a medium thickness okay the medium thickness padding what I don't like about these bib shorts, there are two things. Number one is that the way the padding is constructed in the front, there are two uh, strips of extra thick padding down the front. And when you wear this because of this seam in between, when you wear this, the crotch area looks like you've got a camel toe. It's really not great. The other uh, aspect is the way that the bib straps are constructed. Now, there are some bib straps that are made with one material on the inside, uh, that, uh, that is stretchy and perforated for breathability and then another material used for the hem now this uh, that's not great because the stretch differential is different and uh, it is becomes uncomfortable because usually the hem is less stretchable than the the middle part so but this one is made with the same material although it's hemmed so this is not ideal but it is acceptable uh, it's it's not too bad the back area is uh, quite slim as a hole in the cutout at the back here, so it's nice and breathable. So this is um, nice and good, all right? So I've also had another pair of um, bib shorts that I bought from Jordana, this brand, and it is at the higher end of their uh, spectrum called the FRC. Now, these are great because the gauge, the thickness of the Lycra is good, it has good compression. It is slightly shorter than the Rapa, but still long enough, three quarters of the leg, not too bad. Um, although the band over here uh, as a cuff is a bit narrower, it is also has silicone grippers. I like this kind uh, that end this way and is flatter on the leg. Uh, what I like about the, this bib shorts is uh, a, a medium to uh, lower density foam <clears throat> for the seat pad, that's pretty good. What I like are the bib straps. Now this bib strap is one piece of an elasticized material that has perforations cut out of it. So this is very comfortable, nice and stretchy, and has very good uh, breathable material at the back so that uh, you still feel cool. So this uh, pair of bib shorts uh, is one of my favorites, but after many washes, um, the Lycra is beginning to, uh, to wear out a little bit. Uh, I have also another uh, pair of bib shorts which I bought from either Wiggle or Chain Reaction. These are called uh, these are DHB shorts. They are the older Aeron Pro range. It says Aeron Speed over here. Now, what I like about these are the very breathable, stretchable material at the back, and the the very nice one piece elastic straps. I like these kind of straps, which are just one one piece like this, um, not with a one material here and then another stupid hem on the sides. Uh, good quality lycra material in navy and a nice broad cuff at the end to make these shots quite long on the leg, which is uh, to my preference. This has a, a medium to thick density pad, which is very comfortable. So these are a great, uh, great pair of bib shorts as well. And then I went on AliExpress to try to find something for better value. And there's a very good brand uh, called Spexel, S-P-E-X-C-E-L, that makes 
very high quality jerseys if you know what to look for and so I thought that their shorts would also be good they are good and bad the straps the bib straps they have what I like which is a one piece uh, piece of elastic like this very breathable at the back comfortable uh, seat pad of a medium to, to high density um, but unfortunately as with their bib shorts the leg is very short this comes up to just more than halfway doesn't make it to three quarters of my leg and it would start to ride up despite it having uh, silicone in the gripper uh, but this is a very narrow gripper a very narrow not broad uh, gripper uh, this knockoff La Passione logo over here. So this is my least preferred uh, bib shorts. <clears throat> I think it cost me about 40 bucks, 40 Singapore dollars. This is my favorite now. I was still looking for some high quality but better value bib shorts from AliExpress and I found it. This is called a uh, brand called Darevi, D-A-R-E-V-I-E, -E, that's how you pronounce it very nice quality uh, of lycra comparable to the rafa and the uh, dhb and the jordana very nice broad cuff with silicone uh, uh, studs on the inside to provide a very firm flat uh, grip all the way down to the knee uh, just above the knee uh, very good uh, elastic straps and very breathable material down the back so this ticks uh, all the boxes for me, uh, medium density foam over here and very snug fitting, very uh, comfortable pair of bib shorts. So this ticks all the boxes for me and this cost uh, 34 to 37 Singapore dollars. I think I bought it, uh, it's, you know, it's always on sale so you can get a good deal on it. 30 over dollars for uh, bib shorts that is as comfortable if not more comfortable than uh, nearly $200 Rafa bib shots. So that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.